Blind Date with David Gilmour. David Gilmour reviews the sounds of November 1970. Not a clue. I don't know who that is. I liked it better when you played it at 33. It didn't appeal to me much. I liked the funny instrument coming out of the speaker over there. Sounded like it was a mood. It seems strange updating old songs these days. I'm happy to be by this window. I'm glad to be alive and free. No, will you take it off? I will probably insult someone terribly if I say it sounded like the Settlers or the New Seekers. But I don't like it. If they're mates of mine, then I'm sorry for them, which I suppose sounds a bit coy. I don't think it's bound for number one, and I don't know who it was. Yeah, I like it after the chorus. I like that sort of production. I've no idea who it is. It's new to me. It's a bit repetitive, isn't it? Quite a nice voice. But when the chorus bits come in, I tend to lose interest. I like the backing and I'll give it a 5. Play something outrageous now, something really good. I can't imagine anyone sitting down and making a record like this. It baffles me the way records go up in the charts. No, I have no idea if they will make it. I can't really relate to it myself. They sound as if they're having fun. And that's the important thing. Is it Voices of East Harlem? Yeah, I think it's them. We played with them in Paris and I wasn't all that impressed. With all those voices, I think they could be a really amazing band if they were handled right. But they are handled rather unimaginatively. No, take it off. They were quite good live, but nothing like they could be with the right direction. These records sound like they're all in the same key and all in the same rhythm. The voice is a bit like Richie Havens, but the material is very different from what he would do. Lovely bass player. It's all stereotyped stuff, isn't it? Lovely song, but what a horrible singer. God, I haven't liked one yet. I prefer it by Dylan. Yeah, I've had enough of this one. Come on, thrill me, for God's sake. Tiny bit better, not quite what I mean, but I do prefer this I suppose. I suppose it might grow on me if I ever heard it again, but I don't think that's likely. It's very hard to relate to the top 10 for a lad like me. She's 66, but looks 16, her friends don't know when her face is clean. A fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen. I think this could easily be a giant hit. It's got rhymes that Radio 1 will like, and drive us all mad with. But of course, that doesn't mean I like it. Horrible. When does the singing start? Where's the hook? This isn't going to make the top 20. This is too nice. Can I have this one? Yeah, I like this. I might even buy it. I have no idea who it is though. Not a clue. No, this is not the first time. I think I ought to recognize this one, but I don't know who it is. Is this the last one? Oh, please take it off. What can you say? What can I say about a record like that? Except that I wouldn't like to listen to it more than once or twice. I'm sure I'll know who it is when you tell me. When I'm dead, I might be free. Sounds like someone is strangling him. Yeah, you can take that off as well. I give up. I'm baffled and bored. I've got no idea who it is like the others. It's not very inspiring, is it? My mind's a blank. God, I got some shockers. They all sounded the same. <laughs>